Hey, it's D Factory Rat here at the Model Factory. We're doing some work around here and I uh, want to get an update on our uh, slash tag under 1000 group build hosted by Rob and Mike. I'll have uh, information in the description box on this video. And I um, just want to do a quick little update. We're, we're, we're doing this uh, 70 Plymouth Cuda. Uh, special edition kit by Ravel um, and we're also using parts from this uh, AMT Ertl uh, Dodge Viper we're using the V10 engine to um, up modernize this uh, car uh, we um, we painted this car in the pearl yellow and uh, last time I was talking about uh, there was some red splots on the side of the car and uh, we wet sanded those out and we put another coat of clear on here and I'll probably do another coat of clear or two on this before we finalize it but it's coming along pretty good um I just wanted to kind of show too real quick the differences between these bodies the, the work that I did um if you see on here you can see there's a uh, louvers up here and there's also hood pins on this uh, hood and we filled those all in as you can see on this one those are all gone now and um, also on the side of the car we have uh, a notch for the um, let's get this to focus on here it's not wanting to cooperate today there we go. We've got notches on the side for the uh, side view mirror and the uh, door handles. Pretty s substantial uh, notches in there, and we filled that all in. We took the um, the drip rails and the moldings off the window um, window openings. You can see there's a window trim, a drip rail, and there's also there's also this line here. Uh, on the back panel of the trunk uh, we, we also filled that in on this one so it's just more of a smoother custom customized look and um, I got my wheels uh, pinned and ready to go into the chassis um, here's our we're gonna do our uh, we don't have our bumpers chrome we painted them and uh, we're using the 1970 uh, Michigan Great Lakes uh, license plate, so it kind of goes a little bit with the yellow theme of the car, so that looks nice. We got our uh, roll pans painted and cleared, so those are ready to go in. And uh, we did our we did our interior this week. We went with uh, sand dollar as the color. It's like a nice light tan and uh, we got our, our center console is just sitting in there right now but it does have the wood grain decal on it and um, I'm painting the shifter right now so I don't have the center console uh, mounted in there yet but um let's see if I can get a shot of this this it comes with uh, the decal she has multiple choices for um, for a cluster um, instrument panel and dash dash uh, panel uh, we went with the white gauges it's kind of interesting in this kit it comes with uh, it comes with a piece of white or a clear uh, plastic that you actually put the decals on and then uh, you put that panel in the dash uh, board and so it's, uh, it's pretty neat the way that they do that I haven't done that one before but you could actually put lights in behind this dashboard and the, the gauges would uh, light up because it's on a piece of clear plastic. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I did uh, I did some work to the, the, the trim on the door panels and uh, we did a little chrome pen on the, hand, on the, on the window cranks. And uh, it does come with some uh, decals like for the, the CUDA right there. Let's see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's a barracuda here on the dash and on the door panel. Those are decals. So 
it's a nice model. There's some nice touches to it. Um, I don't have this um, this this uh, interior panel uh, glued to the chassis yet. Uh, and also we have this um, we got the battery in there, the brake booster, the windshield uh, wiper, motor. Uh, we did a little painting on the uh, on the uh, suspension pieces right there. I still have a couple horns to go in over here, a couple pieces, and then this um, this panel here, which we're going to have to cut because this radiator is a lot bigger than the stock radiator. Um, so, uh, but we did we do have the radiator in there. It's got the transmission cooler, and uh, it also has the the dual fan setup in there, and we got it. We got this all squeezed in there. It was a lot of work to get that big V10 uh, in there and get it all situated. But we did wire the motor. We we'll also have this, um, we got this dual air uh, box that goes on the front of here. I'm, I'm going to have to uh, wait till I get this in the, the body of the car. We're probably going to have to shorten these, uh, shorten these tubes up a little bit. To get it to fit right up on top of the uh, the front of the car, uh, and you know, once we get that this piece, we're going to trim this piece and get this piece in there so that matches up, closes this front end up with the the front of the car too. But um, let's see here. I just stuck this grill in here just to give you an idea what that's going to look like. Just uh, that's the custom grill that comes with it. I just painted it black. We still have to put the headlights in and all. But, uh, I just wanted to do a quick update on that. Um, also, I give you another reminder: uh, if you want to get in on my 700 subscriber giveaway, we got about 28 uh, people on the list. If you want to get in on that uh, giveaway, got 26 people on the list right now. All you have to do is leave in the uh, comments, uh, D Rat. And uh, I'll put your name on the list. You have until it closes on May 1st. So in May we'll have a giveaway. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what date we'll do it, but um, when we get a chance to in May. So you got till all the month of April to get in and put D Rat in the comments if you want to get in on the giveaway. And I got a couple stash ads this week. I went to my local hobby shop to get some paints and stuff, and. Uh, I seen this kit here. It was kind of kind of whammied a little bit, and the plastic was uh, ripped up on it. So I got it well, like a discount on it. So we got the uh, Mobius uh, Batwing, and uh, so I was kind of considering that might be a good one to build for the Chris Cartel uh, Celebration of Life uh, group build. So there's a little peek in the box. It looks pretty cool. And uh, also, I bought this from Hobby Lobby. For, it's a 40% off coupon uh, this week, this last week. So um, their their model trucks have went you know, about 50 bucks now, but with the coupon, it brings it down to like 30 something. So um, so yeah, I this is the first uh, semi truck built that I I built a, a kit that I bought when I was young. So. It's, it's nice to get a hold of that again. I always like this kit. So there's that. And then I stopped by Ollie's. We stopped by Ollie's when I'm out that way. And uh, we got this awesome book, coffee table book. This is an almost 450 page book. And uh, it's all about uh, weapons and really good, uh, really good information for um, doing military builds. And uh, it's just really nice color pictures in here. And there are cutaway pictures in here. So, yeah, there's a tiger tank with all the cutaway of the interior and everything. Fascinating read. Really great for resources. Uh, there's there's uh, planes and tanks and uh, submarines. Um, I think I paid, I think, $13 for this book. It was probably like a $50 book. So yeah, you can't buy a normal, a really good magazine for that much money these days. So we were glad to get that. 
Um, also got a few comic books too. You can see down here. I got a big old stack of comic books for like seven bucks. So that was cool. So yeah, that's uh, that's it for the update on my slashed tag under 1000 group build thanks to rob and mike for hosting this thanks to all my subscribers thanks for everybody for watching and uh we'll uh we'll talk to you in the next video hopefully we'll have this done soon and uh we'll have a final so thank you